Uh, marriage brings different responsibilities into the life of any person who participates in it. And so Paul says your interests are going to be divided. So I think he's warning, um, uh, and, and really what his warning gives us is the only promise about what marriage has. There will be trouble. That's the only promise scripture gives us. And so we all want to get married, and marriage is an incredible gift that God has given us, but it does come with different responsibilities, different conflicts that will arise that you'll have to work through. And Paul says, I just want to spare you of that so that you can be more fully devoted to this mission of living out your faith and helping make disciples of other people to live out their faith. He also says, I recognize not everyone has this gift of singleness, but if it's possible for you to remain single, you should remain single. And in doing so, you'll be spared from a lot of the troubles that come with marriage, a lot of the conflicts and a lot of the things that marriage entails. It's an incredible gift, but Paul says, if you don't have to marry, it's better that you don't. And uh, it is a season, regardless of where you are, if you're married or single, that God has given you, Paul says, to secure undivided devotion to the Lord. And that's what he wants you to do in your singleness right now, is to pursue him trust his timing for whatever he has in marriage and then if you do get married to trust his will God's will and God's way of resolving conflict loving your spouse your husband or your wife pursuing oneness and caring for those around you both in the body and making disciples of the world around you